Have you ever wanted to create a shortcut command in FreeDOS? Well, with batch commands or batch files, .bat files, that's exactly what you can do. You can batch together a set of commands as though you were typing it on the command line yourself. Uh, and actually, that's what autoexec.bat is doing. Every time your computer boots, uh, FreeDOS will uh, look for autoexec.bat and it'll run it. Uh, and that's what sets up the initial environment and uh, runs any programs that need to be run whenever the computer gets started up. Uh, but if I look at that file, if I do a type uh, autoexec.bat, uh, uh, you can see that's quite a long file. And I thought rather than try to explain every line of autoexec.bat, I thought I would uh, show you how to create batch files uh, in a very simple case. And from there, you should be able to figure out what autoexec.bat is doing. So let's get started with a very simple example. I'm going to create a new batch file uh, called um, hello.bat. So I'm going to just bring up the editor. Uh, this is a new file. Uh, so this simple thing that you might want to do in batch files is print some text back to the screen. Uh, you do that whenever you're running different commands. You might want to indicate, hey, I'm doing this thing. Uh, so the way you print text back to the screen is with the echo command. So here I'm just going to print uh, echo hello world, and that's the text I'm going to print back as hello world. Let's go ahead and uh, save that file, and we're going to uh, exit and if I uh, run the batch file, I don't need to do anything special to run it, uh, not like on Linux where I need to make it executable. Here I just need to just type the command hello.bat. I don't actually need to include the .bat extension, but I'm going to do it in this example. Uh, you can see that it's now running echo hello world as though I were typing it at the command line. Uh, but you don't always want to have uh, every command being uh, printed back to the screen. Uh, so if I edit the hello.bat file again, uh, I can uh, add a new command at the top of the file uh, that will turn off uh, what's called command echoing. Uh, and you do that with the echo off command. Uh, off and on um, are reserved words for echo. Um, and uh, obviously echo off will turn off command echoing. Now if I, if I ran this batch file by itself, you'd actually see that first echo off instruction. Uh, to hide that, I'm going to put an at at the beginning of the line. Anytime you have a batch file that has an at at the beginning of the line, uh, it's going to uh, uh, hide it from being printed back to the user uh, if echo happens to be turned on. So batch files typically start with an at echo off instruction on the first line. So let's go ahead and uh, save this file and uh, exit back. And we're going to just run the hello uh, dot bat file. And you can see it's just printed back hello world. It's not showing you the command it's typing out, or it's, it's running. It's just running the commands themselves. Now there's more that you can do uh, with batch files and just display text. And so if I uh, edit uh, that hello dot bat, uh, I can have it process uh, a list of files. That's a very handy thing to do uh, with batch files. So in this case, to loop over or iterate over a list of files, you can do that with the for instruction. Uh, for needs a couple of things. It needs to know uh, a variable that it's going to use for every file that you're iterating over. Iterating over. Uh, and here you're going to use a special uh, way to describe that variable using two percents and then a single letter to describe uh, the variable. So I'll just use F. Yeah, and, and, and every other uh, place in, uh, in DOS you actually reference uh, variables using percent uh, uh, around the variable itself, but four needs a special uh, uh, construct for that uh, variable, so here it's just percent percent F. So we're going to say uh, 4% percent percent %f in, and then uh, the list of files that it's going to process. And here, let's just uh, process a list of uh, batch files. So we'll just do star dot bat. And then what commands is it going to is it going to execute? Well, you need to uh, start that off with the do uh, keyword. And then what do you want to have it do? Uh, here, we'll just go ahead and print them back to the screen. So we'll use echo again. So we'll use uh, echo and then percent percent F. If I uh, save that and then exit back to DOS, uh, if I now run hello, I should see hello world and I should see it print back uh, autoexec.bat and hello.bat because those are the two bat files that I have. 
and there it is. It's printing out hello world, autoexec.bat, and hello.bat. Uh, other things you can do, let's go ahead and edit that hello.bat. Um, it can be handy to test for the existence of things. Uh, you might do this if you're um, running a, uh, 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 for example, a compile. I do this when I, when I compile, uh, and I want to see if an error file has been generated. And I can do different things depending on if that error file has shown up. Um, here I'm going to do a very simple example, uh, and uh, I'll just uh, look for a file called uh, tempfile.temp. And so the way you do that is you, you're going to use the if instruction, right? That's going to test if something is happening. Uh, and uh, there's different ways you can use if. Just for this simple uh, batch file, I'm going to use the uh, testing for if a file exists and use a, a keyword exist. So if exist, uh, temp file dot temp, temp file dot temp, oops, temp. Uh, then you're going to have it uh, run a command, and that command could be uh, to delete it. It might be to, to clean up after myself, and so let's go ahead and, and if that temp file, that temp exists, then I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete uh, temp file dot temp. Uh, let's go ahead and exit, and let's execute hello, and there is no temp file that temp. So let's go ahead and create a temp file that temp. So we'll just uh, put some text into uh, temp into temp file dot temp. And now if I run hello, you'll see that it will uh, it's <laughs> it's actually cleaned it up without uh, printing any text back. So let's go ahead and show my directory first, so we know what's in there. Uh, we'll again print some text into temp file dot temp. And you can see I have a temp file that temp, and then if I run hello, it will have deleted temp file that temp. And so that's a very quick and easy way to clean up after yourself if you end up creating temporary files. Um, and then just a couple other things you can do in uh, in batch files that kind of uh, make it a little easier to work with. Uh, hello dot bat. Uh, you might want to uh, add some comments in your batch files, if, if, especially if they're very long, to remind yourself about what's going on. Um, and so I'm going to add some comments in here. I'm going to add a comment right before this, uh, this for. Uh, and the way that you add comments is with REM. That stands for, I would call it remark, um, and, or remember. And that's, the, uh, uh, that's just the keyword that says everything after this is a comment. So here I'm just going to say um, uh, list any uh, uh, .bat files. That's my comment there. And then down here I'm going to add another comment. Uh, so another comment with rem. And then uh, delete uh, any temp files, right? There we go. And that actually doesn't do anything. Uh, it just is a way to uh, keep things tidy inside your batch files to remind yourself what different things in your batch files are trying to do. At the end of the batch file, I'm going to add one other thing, and that is uh, a pause instruction. And so what that will do is uh, that'll prompt me to press a key before I uh, before it continues on. In this case, it'll um, uh, it'll exit right before it exits, just so I can see where it is. I'm going to print out some text to the screen. I'll just print out echo. Uh, and then the word done. So now if I uh, save this and then run it, we actually, nothing's going to happen with those rem commands. Um, and uh, we're going to get a pause instruction at the end, and then only after that is done is it going to print out the word done. So let's go ahead and exit. And then let's run my hello.bat file. You can see here it's printed out hello world. It's printed out the lines for autoexec.bat and hello.bat because that's my for instruction. Uh, and then it's done the pause. And once I hit any key, I'll just hit space bar. You can see that now it runs any commands after that, which was another echo command. Now, I haven't done a couple of other things you do uh, to sort of advanced uh, batch file programming, but uh, I can cover that in another video. So what did you think about this? Was this helpful to you to learn how FreeDOS uh, processes batch files. Uh, visit us on our website at freedos.org. Also, uh, follow us on uh, Facebook, uh, follow us on Twitter, and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.